Oh, I'm afraid you'll have to turn the camera off as we can't show where in the building we're going. That's the second secure door. There are padlocks. This is our secure area and we do like to keep some secrets. I've heard about gift shrinks. It's a German term that means poison cabinet and it's where they kept books like Hitler's Mein Kampf, books that were dangerous, capable of corrupting our minds, of encouraging evil. But I've been told heaps of libraries, including this one, the National Library of Australia, has a poison room. Oh, I'm afraid you'll have to turn the camera off as we can't show where in the building we're going. What I can tell you is that it was dark, really, really dark. This is our secure area and we do like to keep some secrets. And it felt a little like a rabbit warren. Great, so we're here? We are indeed. This is the Australian secure room and these are the cabinets that we keep the material in. I am allowed to show you the locks on these cabinets, but only because Alison said they'd be changing them straight after I left. There's some stuff in here though you don't want me to film? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's also material in here which, for example, is secret and sacred to Australian Indigenous communities. What I can show you is this. Unauthorised biographies, guides to euthanasia, true crime, Chappelle Corby and Eddie Obeid. It's one of the biggest gift shrinks in the country and it's got 200 books that are strictly off limits. They're defamatory, misleading or dangerous. We do have material in here that accidentally might have recommended toxic combinations of chemicals be used, for example. And some <laughs> Sorry, could you repeat that again? <laughs> some of the, the, you did, you huh? said that in passing. So. I did. Um, we have had material that's been placed in here, textbooks or other publications, where the pub publisher has subsequently let us know that there's a serious error that might cause someone to harm themselves. OK, but then I'm intrigued. Why even keep these books in the first place? Part of the role of the library is to keep history of Australian publishing and part of the history of publishing is that sometimes people publish things that shouldn't have been published. I'd heard the Victorian State Library also had a gift shrink and that they were keeping an entire collection in it. Well, it's a collection dedicated to conjuring, which is stage magic. It holds centuries of magician secrets and won't ever be allowed out on display. There are hundreds of books, boxes of props, files on the great magicians and illusionists and catalogues of their tricks, all locked away. Say I wanted to come in and, and discover how Houdini did a set trick, would you have that in here? Um, yeah, we would. It might be a little bit of a search. So this is kind of... Yeah, an, it makes it harder though, right? Yeah, like you and this really is... Want to this, find you've it. got to want it. So, so none, of these, none of these sticky noses. Then Dominique showed me her favourite item. An old book of magic so secret it had its own lock and key. It might be a little bit fragile, I don't want to break it. <laughs> Here we go. Inside are illustrated instructions to all of the tricks you've seen on stage. And it's a condition of filming that I only show you the illustrations quickly. There are also scale models of some of the more famous tricks. These ones are safe to see, even if they are disturbing. It's been hard to find out just how many books are locked away in gift tranks around Australia. The classification board is in charge of banning books, but when I called they told me they had no record of just how many books they'd banned. I searched their website and found more than 3,000, but that includes magazines with titles alone that would make your nana blush. So I called the major libraries to ask, and how's this? South Australia doesn't have any banned books, but it does have a high security porn collection from the 70s, and it's called the Raincoat Collection. All the librarians I spoke to were a bit uncomfortable about gift tranks. On the one hand, you've got books that are banned for legal or public safety reasons, and I saw titles like Kill Without Joy, The Complete How to Kill Book, or The Big Book of Homemade Weapons, and that's pretty clear cut. But then you've also got others, and it's more about taste and decency and offence. And it just makes you wonder who should really decide when it comes to things like that. <laughs> 